Phil, uh, great to have you here. Um, uh, just, we've just come off a, a tour of, of, uh, of Jet and, and Mast. Um, and just for the viewers um, watching this, uh, just to sort of kick us off, it was uh, how we got here was I came to your show in London and loved every second of it and obviously got very excited when midway through you, uh, you mentioned fusion. And yes. uh, you and I ended up having a bit of a chat, which was uh, terrifying, but, <laughs> but, but also quite fun. And then I reached out to you to see whether you want to come along and, and here you are. So yeah. it's, been, it's been great having you here today. Um, maybe can you just remind me um, what inspired you to put Fusion into the show in the first place? Well, um, uh, thanks for that. And that's absolutely right. I mean, it is in my show. And um, I remember reading about it a few years ago and, uh, and being fascinated by it then. And when I came to write the show Thoughtifier, the, the sort of central premise of it was um, celebrating human endeavor and the the creativity the the constant ingenuity of humans mm. and that can be across all fields you know uh, i talk about it in terms of human evolution about discovering music discovering harmony mm. and of course one of those uh, would be fusion and so it felt like a natural fit to put it into this show yeah. and to explore it a little bit and to do something which i love to do which you were very kind enough to be part of in mm. the show which is to ask members of the audience what they feel about it, what their reactions are to it. Yeah. Because I find that's, it's, to me, that's very interesting. And you were saying that I wasn't the only one to sort of, uh, that was aware of Fusion in the audience. As, as the show went on, you were finding more and more people no. actually knew about it and, and, Absolutely, and yeah. talk about it. So. Yeah, very much so. I mean, when the, the show, I, I started writing it probably now, it will be 2023 now. And since then, um, it's been to, toured around the world, been to about 22, 23 countries. Mm. And, uh, over the last year, 18 months, uh, every time I mention it, I've noticed a change over the last year and a half right. where there's been a gradual uptick in people's awareness of it and people's knowledge about it. And also, what is, for me, and I'm guessing for you as well, encouraging is that when I say, well, I've got a suggestion, what are we going to do about it? We need to find solutions to the world's energy needs. Hmm. What about fusion? This whoops from yeah. the crowd. People yeah. actually go yes, and I think, which is, I'm guessing, that's a huge. Yeah, it's, that, it's a kind of it's a good news story and a lot of gloom, right? We hear all about yeah. how, how how bad things are getting, and they are getting quite scary. But to, to hear that you know that there are fusion and, and other solutions that are out there, people trying to actually fix it, and it's it's great yeah. when you hear people uh, in, getting enthusiastic about it. And of course, everyone here at the labs super enthusiastic. It's why we do what we do. So no, it's really it's really great to yeah. to, to hear, um, and. Um, so having seen the site, having had a look at Fusion in Action, um, how, how have you found today's visit? Well, I mean, it, this, this is fascinating. And thank you again for this, this invite. It's been really illuminating, particularly when um, you were explaining about Fusion going forwards, the mm. future of Fusion, sure. and how it's potentially going to be a viable source of energy you know, it, it, on a much wider, wider scale, yeah. a much bigger scale. I mean, that is obviously the, one of the big challenges that you're working on here. Yeah. But that's really, that's the destination for yeah. it as a, as a viable energy solution. Yeah. And I yeah. think that's what's very exciting about this place. But also for me, it's fascinating to see how the development of it over the years and how the, the, the timescales we're talking about here are huge. Yeah. Really. You know, um, and some of the scepticism that I've encountered sometimes about fusion has been very much about well, it'll be ready in 10 years. Well, they said that 10 years yeah, ago. Yeah, sure, you know? sure. And that's the kind of, the, the, the sometimes the pushback you get. But what I get a sense of here is this continuity. Mm. This is that there's this, this line of, you know, constant, um, you know, ingenuity and learning from, uh, fusion in the past yeah. and the successes that have been had, the breakthroughs, and then using that to build new uh, bits of kit. Yeah. You know, the you're talking about the mast there, which yeah. is which we saw there, mm. which is, gives you huge amounts of data, yeah. and then eventually we're moving forward to a sort of a potential um, power source. Yeah. For for the, so that I find is very exciting. Yeah. And I found, and it, it was wonderful seeing the the tech. And how the tech has changed, yeah. but actually some tech, you it's, know, it's is still, still what it was, still six, sort of what 50 it was years ago. 50 yeah, years yeah. ago. So I think I see that as a, as a, as a sort of 
what this place does. It's a brilliant kind of almost like it's the the history of fusion, mm. and and from how it came about and to to where it's going. Yeah, blending in the new, but also building on all the experience we've had over, yeah. the, over the previous decades. Talking of playing with the tech, how how did you find um, playing with our remote handling systems? Um, uh, well, how, how was that? So much fun. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, did you get the hang of it? I, I did. I think I I. I, you know, I did a good account of myself. Yeah. I didn't drop it. No, that's, that's, I picked that's up a block and I picked up a little washer as well with this enormous sort of robot claw, which yeah. was re reminiscent of Alien. But uh, <laughs> it was absolutely, um, it's fascinating to see. Yeah. And I guess that's but because you know Jet is now being decommissioned. That's right. Yeah. So you have a challenge there, but also you have the sort of the, the acquired knowledge of all that. Mm. How do you feel that? I mean, one of the questions I would ask you is. How optimistic are you about the time frame, about making fusion a kind of a viable yeah, source I, of power? I'm optimistic. I mean, I, I, if I wasn't, I probably would get out of the field. You, ha you have good days and bad days, and sometimes when you're in, you have a day or a week where you're immersed in the challenges, you think, oh, this is just this is too much. Um, but no, generally, I and most of my colleagues, uh, we're in the... We, we, what we call the gritty determination phase. So a colleague of mine says you go through three phases in fusion. You have the euphoria phase when you first hear about it. You're like, this is brilliant. This is and the kind yeah. of reaction you're getting with your audiences, that's yeah. great. Then you learn a bit more about fusion. And you, you see some of the challenges we're facing, which I talked, so we talked to you about earlier. And you, and you get into the despair phase, which is, oh, this is too hard. We're never, never going to get there. You've got to push through that and get into the gritty determination, which is, yes, it's hard, but the world needs it. We've just got to crack on. So mm. most of mo me and most of my colleagues spend our time trying to stay in the phase three as much as possible. Occasionally, we go into two, we pull ourselves out. So, so long as we, so, and I think it's great that, that it came across that, you know, this mission, this drive that we want to do it. In terms of the timescales, nobody knows when the first, per first team is going to put fusion power on the, energy, on, on the grid. There's just too much uncertainty but I think the fact that no one knows shouldn't stop our determination to get on with it right um, mm. and I, I think people have used the analogy with the Wright brothers right no one no one knew how long it was going to take from the first breakthroughs and flight to get to the jet age but mm. they just cracked on they did it and now the whole world is you know is run you know yeah. w with, with, with jet planes so we we are on that phase we've had some really yeah. great breakthroughs in the last sort of three or four years, we've got to build on those and just, just make it happen now. Yeah, and I think that, you know, we, we talked about the fact that you, there is, you need collaboration with other countries and that's happening mm. and, and a sort of political will as well to yeah. kind of drive it forward. Yeah, no, that's essential. And we're very lucky at the moment that successive UK governments are, are, are really uh, behind us. And, you know, the STEP project is a big example. They're putting re real investment and we're going to bring in industry into that. So we've got good political will in, in this country but also in other countries that we collaborate with. And, and despite Brexit, we're still working with our European partners as best we can. We're working with the US and, 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 and other partners. And mm. um, that, that's also a really great thing about working in fusion is, is as well as working on some really interesting technical problems, you get to work with you know, really uh, inspiring and diverse people from, yeah. from all these other countries. So no, the, the collaboration aspect is, is a great I part guess of as we well, do. from a perspective of engineering, which is your, that's my your field, sort of yep. field, yep. is that that you know not only is this the, the sort of the greater goal has got these kind of global implications mm. uh, and but yet on a day-to-day -day basis you're dealing with sort of engineering puzzles that yes. have to be solved mm. which I guess on a on a sort of incremental basis that's very satisfying it does that's what keeps you going is solving yeah. you know recognizing you're sort of a small cog in this big machine and each time you make a a bit of progress you know you're contributing to, to the overall mission so yeah that's a big that's a big part of what keeps most of us going i think is yeah. just making those incremental um uh, bits of progress so yeah. yeah it's a good it's a good field um, it's exciting it is yeah well i'm glad you think so and i think please do spread the word certainly with uh, with as many many of your um sort of colleagues and, and friends as possible because um oh, just to finish up do you think there's anything anything more we might we need we could do to sort of really get this into the mainstream and get uh, 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 and get the kind of enthusiasm that, that we really think well justifies? i mean i think you know, there's obviously uh, Fusion, the musical. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna, uh, you gonna write? I'll, it for I'll us? write it if you want me to write it. Oh, oh, well, well, I'm uh, sure Celestine uh, is taking <laughs> notes right now. Uh, we might take you up on that. Um, I mean, I think. Do you know what? I mean, I think that from my from my experience, the reaction that I'm getting from crowds is that. 
that it's getting through. You know, the message is getting through. Great. People are more uh, uh, sort of you know aware of it, mm. and certainly more positive about it, mm. and not so sort of wary about it. You know, the the implications of it, and a bit sort of you know sceptical about it. I think generally there's there's some been some great good news stories in the press which have circulated yep. and they seem to be creeping up further up into the front of pages which yes. is the front pages which is which is good yep. um, and because what we're talking about here is is yes we're talking about engineering problems and solutions and materials and dealing with exhausts and all of those things but the, the, the I think you know as you say you keep your eyes on the prize yeah. which is this this huge prize which is a kind of a global sustainable f energy yeah. solution world changing world changing yeah absolutely you know? and I guess that's what you know that I think that aspect of it I think the kind of the good news aspect of it I think that's something which which could be seen more of. Yeah, we, we could make more of, and certainly I'll do my best to do that. You Fantastic, know. brilliant. Okay, well, look, it's been an absolute pleasure. You, you're now a friend of Fusion. Do come back whenever you want. Do bring your son next time when he wants <laughs> to, when he's will. available. And uh, thanks very much for coming today. Cheers, Joe. Thank thanks. You. Cheers.